In this video, we're going to figure out how much force is required to slow down a 1500 kilogram car from an initial velocity of 20 meters per second to rest in 10 seconds. So this is very similar to the previous problem that we did, except in this case, our car has an initial velocity. So let's summarize some of the information given to us in this problem. Now, initially, this car is going to be moving with an initial velocity of 20 meters per second. And so the velocity is going to be in this direction. Now, in order to stop this car, we're going to have to apply a force to this car in the opposite direction that it's traveling. Now, remember, Newton's second law says that an object accelerates in the direction of the net external force. So in this case, the acceleration of the car is going to be in the opposite direction of the car's velocity. Now, this force is going to be slowing down this car until it reaches a final velocity of zero meters per second. That is, this car is going to come to a rest. And the time it takes for this car to go from 20 meters per second to zero meters per second is going to be 10 seconds. Now, in order to figure out the force required to stop this car, we're going to need to apply Newton's second law of motion, which says that if you add up the forces acting on an object, it's going to equal the mass of the object times the acceleration. So in order to figure out the force, we're going to need to know the mass of the car and the acceleration of the car. So the mass of the car is given as 1,500 kilograms, and we don't know what the acceleration of the car is directly, so we're going to need to use our definition of acceleration to find the acceleration of the car. So remember, acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the time it takes to change that velocity, so it'll be the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time it takes to change that velocity. Now in this case, our car is going to come to a rest, so the final velocity of the car is going to be 0 meters per second minus the starting velocity, which was, in this case, 20 meters per second, and we're going to divide that by the time it takes to change that velocity. That is, we're going to divide it by the time it takes to go from 20 meters per second to 0 meters per second. Now this simplifies to 0 minus 20, works out to be minus 20 meters per second, and we're going to divide that by 10 seconds, now, negative 20 meters per second divided by 10 seconds works out to be negative 2 meters per second per second, or negative 2 meters per second squared. So now that we know the acceleration of the car, that is how fast we're going to stop the car, we can figure out the force required to stop the car. So we're going to apply Newton's second law of motion, which says that, again, if you add up the forces acting on the car, it's going to equal the mass of the car times the acceleration of the car. Now, in this case, we're given the mass as 1,500 kilograms. And we're going to multiply that by how fast we're going to be slowing this car down. In this case, we're going to be slowing this car down at a rate of 2 meters per second per second in the opposite direction that the car is initially traveling. And that's where this negative sign comes into place. So now we're going to multiply this 1,500 kilograms times negative 2 meters per second per second, or 2 meters per second squared. Now, 1,500 times negative 2 works out to be negative 3,000. And then we multiply the units out. A kilogram times a meter per second squared works out to be a kilogram meter per second squared. Now remember, a kilogram meter per second squared is a newton, so we can rewrite this as negative 3,000 newtons of force are required to stop this car. Now the negative sign in this case is indicating that the force needs to be applied in the opposite direction that the car is initially traveling. Now to make a little bit more sense of this negative sign, let's go back up to our picture that we started to draw. Now notice the force is acting in the opposite direction that the car is initially traveling, so the force is pointing in the negative direction, whereas the velocity is going in the positive direction. 